Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We've got quests to hand in, we've actually got several quests to hand in. We did a whole load of yeti hunting, so we need to go and speak to Umi Rumplesnicker. That is an awesome name. Rumplesnicker. That is, that is just awesome. Okay. Interesting. Invention, my dear paladin, is 2% bottle inspiration, 4% solar exposure, 6% chance of thunderstorms clearing by mid-afternoon, and 93% rumple snicker. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm loving the rumple snicker name. I absolutely am. Wait, did that add to 100? I've got my notes around here somewhere. So, are we there, Yeti? I got lots to get started on here. Please get me those furs as soon as you can. These furs are perfect, Grundorn. We're off to a great start here. Are they perfect? They better be perfect. So I was looking down here because I uh, suddenly seen uh, Sia has gone offline twice. Sia might be having some connection issues. Anyway, uh, the perfect horns. Are they perfect? They better be perfect. I can't wait to show my friends. Now, just wait a moment while I attach these. It's all ready, Grondorn. Now, I told my friend Nagaki that I have a surprise for him. This is where you come in. I'm going to give you my mechanical yeti and you'll get the honor of using it to surprise her. She's just on the other side of Everlook near the inn. Go up to her, turn the yeti on, I'll be watching from here. Be good. Okay, we'll do that. This is this is something that we can cope with. We need to go over here. Where is Ligaki? There she is. She's over there. So we're going to go over here and release Umi's yeti. Uh... <laughs> she is running away from it. She's running away from it. We've got a robo chick that we can battle right here. Actually, she, she's running a lot. Look. We're going to go. <laughs> yes. Okay, that is awesome. So, we had a pet yesterday that was following us around. Um, except that that pet is not here at the moment. We had our pet, which was... Actually, what was up? It was Talleyrand, wasn't it? Yeah, Talleyrand was following us around yesterday. However, we, we, we have a new pet right here, the Robo Chick. This is one that we don't yet have, so we are going to do battle. Seriously, you're a grey quality. I'm not accepting grey quality pets. Forfeit. Yep, forfeit the battle. I will not accept grey quality pets. We won't have them. We, we would, even if, you know, well, actually, if they're, like, really rare, then um, we will accept them. But, uh, no, for the most part, grey quality pets are unacceptable. Why does she keep moonwalking backwards? Seriously, it's very freaky. Very, very freaky. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go back to the pets, and I want to revive all pets a minute so that we've, we've got that done. And what else have we got? Have we got any more? Actually, we've got loads of Robo Chicks. Let's go and grab a Robo Chick before we go and speak to Wasserface over there. Uh, there's a Nut Varmint there. I've actually got a good one of those. I've got a good quality one of them. What's that round there? That is Robo Chick. Come here, Robo Chick. You better, you, you better be a reasonable quality Robo Chick. I don't... Your pet battle area is obstructed. I'm betting that I'm not going to be able to do pet battles in here. Maybe if I go right to the side. Maybe right to this side. Okay, fine. Fine! I won't battle you. Be like that. We need to keep going. We need to look for Robo Chick. There should be a Robo Chick around here somewhere that we can do epic battle with. There's a, a nut varmint over an, uh, a, a grizzly thing. There is one. Oh no, this ground is too uneven. Well, you can go anyway. I've got one of you. Where is the Robo Chick? Robo Chick's got to be here somewhere. Right, there is a Robo Chick right here. I'm hoping. <gasps> oh, ah, <laughs> yes! We have a blue quality one. That is fantastic. Right, let's just go here again. I was giving Relincor a bit of advice on um. Uh, using the auction house. It's a fine art using the auction house. It really is. And it can take a lot. Of, like I've said here, there is a huge amount of trial and error to using the auction house. It can sometimes... I... 
I use the auction house nearly every day. If I can, um, I mean, I don't actually get to log on every day and play. Um, right, I do not want to forfeit. I want to switch pets. I want to switch over to you. I don't get to log on every day. Um, but, oh, wait a minute. Deals 88 beast damage and coats target. Causing them to take 44 damage each time they attack. I forgot about this. This one here is one of the soundest defenses against building the turret. I'm going to build the turret anyway because I want to show you this. I want to sort of emphasize this point. You see how much damage I take from this. See, every time it shoots, I'm taking 44 damage. Right? It's really... A, it, it's not a good thing at all. i got to pass on that one. It's a really bad one. So these crystal spiders here with the brittle webbing... That is such an awesome move to protect against the turrets. You're not always certainly going to get turrets, but if you do, it is a fantastic defense against it. It really is. It's absolutely awesome. And it can do some insane damage against the person that has got the turrets up. I'm going to put a second turret up here now, just so that we can take another round of it. And you see, I'm on 1,062. He's just done me a bit. I'm taking triple, I'm taking loads of damage because I'm also taking extra damage as well from something else that he did. Like, my health has really gone, I've, I've really taken a hammering that turn. So it's, it's not, it's not good at all. But anyway, yeah, the, the auction house, um, we we're just talking about the, um, the sort of the pros and cons of it. And it can be really difficult to get the auction house right. It can take quite a bit of time. When you click here and view it in journal, there we are. We have a brand shiny new Robo Chick. And this one is called Patrio Graysmark. There. Patrio Graysmark. Welcome to the team. Here is our new chicken. Okay, we've done that bit. Let's go back inside and turn in our next quest. Umi Rumplesnicker. What's up? What's up? She'll never expect it. Ah, she'll think twice before making fun of my ideas again. Thanks for your help, Grundorn. I couldn't have done so much. I couldn't have had so much fun without you. So we get and we get amusing pauldrons, and we get a mechanical yeti. Now, if we have a look in here, show captured, we have a tranquil mechanical yeti right there at level one. We get another one now. Hang on a minute. Three charges. Oh no, we don't. This is different. Complete quest. Glad I can help. That, uh, the Tranquil Mechanical Yeti, that's an archaeology one. Um, yeah, and as you're whelping, that's a, that's a capturable one. But yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an archaeology one. So th this is actually a different one. Uh, remove the show captured. If we have a look in our bag right here, this one's got three charges. So if I, if I bring this one out, if, if I go over here, look, and bring him down, he becomes my guardian, and he, he stays with us. I don't know how long he stays with us for, does it say? will protect you for 10 minutes. So he will actually fight alongside me for 10 minutes. That's pretty cool. Let's go over and uh, speak with Talk your D's rock snitch. Oh, you're back. How are the yetis? Not bad. Let's hope they don't ask for lava or something next, right? All right. Once high quality, pure grade, instant ice block. I tried selling these to people for protection for a while. You know, like, like that trick you see mages pull? Couldn't figure out the whole breathing thing, though. <laughs> Glad I um, that's kind of concerning that he couldn't figure out the whole breathing thing. Anyway, Cyril Scourgebane. Ah, you're back. Perfect. Now you'll see what really matters in a weapon. Finesse. Right, that's great and all, but I don't want one of these. I want a, um, I, I, I want a mace from Lilith the Lithe over there. Why won't you give me a mace? Disappointed now. Okay, we're just we're just gonna take the most valuable one, which is that two-handed scourge bane sword right there. Be careful. There we go. Achievement progress. What were you two thinking? What you two are lacking is control. Cyril Scourge Bane right there with his very own Okay, well, he, he managed to make himself a little statue there. We've done the weapons. There's nothing else there. I'm assuming that there is... Oh, we have another quest now. We have another quest down there. We've got that one. You know, we really need to sell some of this stuff that we've got. 
We're running out of space in our bags. This is a this is a crucial thing. A crucial and concerning thing is that we're running out of space in our bag. So we're going to go over here and we're going to speak to Innkeeper Vizzle. Time is money, friend. And we are going to do this with all of these grey items that we don't want. Like that. Uh, we don't want that. No sale price on that. Anyway, uh, Battle Elixir. Increase your attack power by 14 and size for 20 minutes. That's pretty good. This one here is exactly the same. The Dark Moon Fire Water. We'll use that in a bit then. Uh, Ice Thistle Echo. That can stay there. So that one there is no good to us. We want to sell that one. This one here, the Amusing Pauldrons. Are they any good? Nope. Sell. Or quail, sell. That one, sell. That one there, the Blade of Wretched Spirits is a sword. We don't want that. That's a soulbound item. Orb of Kelferil, soulbound. Braces there. Nope, sell. And then that one there, the Ursa's Embrace. Ooh. Ooh, that's 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 actually a good one. That's that's that's, that's a good weapon. A, a good weapon. A, a good item. Look at that. Okay, I actually really like the look of that one as well. That that looks very cool. Take a look at our new outfit. That is actually really cool. I like that. I like that outfit a lot. I am glad we've got that one. Hmm, interesting. And then we go here and we sell that one. And then a Marion's gift. No, we sell that one. Zin Malor Ring. One strength, one stamina. We'll keep that. Uh, that's bind when equip. Shell win belt. That one can go. That one is bind on equip. Okay, we, we've sold enough. We, we've got some space there. now. Swap that one over yeah, and just very quickly sell that ring as well. I should do business with ya. And then... Oop, nope. Go to you. I think it's everything. Right, Grundorn the Insane, right there. Look at that new outfit, I absolutely love it. I genuinely love this outfit. I think it is glorious. Get rid of that, and get rid of that. Okay, let's go. We've got another quest right out here. This one is... Greetings. 10 silver bars with 25 gold. Yeah, um... I gotta say something about that. Seriously, silver bars. Don't turn them into bars. Don't turn silver into bars, ladies and gentlemen. Sell silver ore. You can get 10 to 15 gold per piece of ore for silver ore. Bars are good, but trust me, you wanna if if you've got silver, sell it as ore. If you're not gonna use it, sell it as ore. You make a fortune out of the stuff. It's brilliant. Right. We have isolated Umbrance's position here in Winterspring. It is as I suspected. Umbrance is at Maz Thorol, the cavern that once belonged to the Blue Dragonflight in the southwest. My mother, Hala, Haley, ha Haley, Haley, I think. Haley will greet you there. She is stationed outside of the cave in a small camp with a few other survivors. Look for her campfire. Till next we meet. I was just running out of here, and I realise there's another quest up here. Yo! Starfall Village. You've been pretty busy around here. If you're still eager to do good deeds or just get paid, then I got something you might be interested in. Starfall Village is just northwest of Everlook. The night elves there are recently suffered a pretty nasty bug infestation, and they're asking for any help they can get. A few goblins from here already went there to start exterminating, but I'm sure there's room for more. Talk to Wind Night Chaser. Night Chaser. He'll fill you in. Hurry back! Right, so we got two quests from here. I'm going to go and do this one first, which is far to the south. So we just want to start heading along this road along here. And where are we going? Oh, oh, oh we're only going there. Maz Thorol there, where the blue dragon flight used to be. I don't know if there's still blue dragons here. You remember I said about the um, the, dra the azure whelplings? They were here. You had to kill the azure whelplings in order to get them. Uh, so whether they're still here or not, I don't know. Now, there is a bit of ore right there. But I don't want to spend too long chasing after all. Although, your rich Thorium vein is definitely worth it. We'll follow the road for this, rather than cut it across country. Just in case anything nasty happens to turn up. So we're coming around here. There is Thorium back there, which I left behind. Um, 
Alpine hair. Well, we've picked up the alpine hair now. We need a crystal spider and a snowy owl. So we will keep an eye out for both of those pets. In the meantime, let's go in here. And we've got uh, that dude's mother. I, 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 don't, I can't remember what he was called. Right, Hayla. I, I'm thinking it's not Hayley, though, is it? It's Hay I'm, I'm thinking Hayla. Hayla does seem to be about right. And then Zach Sinon. He's got to be a dragon. Yeah, look. Look, look at the eyes. Definitely a dragon. He's got glowing green eyes. No kid I know has got glowing green eyes. If my, if my child turned up with glowing green eyes, I'd probably get a little bit nervous, to be honest. And I, I would be a little bit nervous about what might happen next. You are Grundorn, yes? Good. You will serve well. I require the aid of a paladin such as yourself. That's fortunate, isn't it? We, the Blue Dragons, have been forced out of our home, Mazthoril. An imposter by the name of Umbrans has taken advantage of us in our weakest hour and now occupies the cave. Mazthoril is a place of extremely potent magic and he does not know how to wield it. Even the wildlife suffers. The beasts nearby have been altered. Please, human, I must ask you a favor. Gather their brains so that I can, <laughs> I can undo Umbrans' wild magic. Be gather careful. their brains. Yes, just go forth and gather up their brains. We need lots of them. I thought you had glowing eyes. You don't, but uh, I, I I need beast brains. Um, okay. Where am I going to get beast brains from? Altered beast. There's one. Okay. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting it to do that. That seems a little bit more violent than I was anticipating. Let's get another 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 lion there. What what why why are you bringing me lions? I don't want lions. I I, I want simple, plain things that, that that are not quite so savage looking. Seriously. And also, why have we got lions in the middle of winter spring? I ask you. Mana addled brain. I've got one brain so far. I'm out of brain. There's another one. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's that's like a shadow thing that priests use. He's actually oh. I thought I was doing well then for a minute, but I'm not. It was this dude here. I'll do that. I'll help him out a little bit. And then I'm going to go over there. And I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to take you. And then I'm also going to get you. And bring you back. And then we will fight. Like this. We will fight together. Brothers in arms. Side by side. We will take them down. I need a target. Okay, I, I, I've, I've only got one more brain. I, I, I need, I need lots more brains. Where are my brains? I have no brains. Take that one down. I got another beast over there. Which I will bring down towards me. Uh, I don't have anything on that one. He's gone rushing off to get the thorium. You, you know we can both actually mine that thorium, don't you? I'm going to kill the chipmunk. Time flies when you're having fun. Somebody likes me. See, he's got all sorts of um, achievements now. I am going to use my Winter Spring Frost Saber. Because this is the suitable mount for this area. Can I still mine this? It does despawn fairly quickly once someone else gets it. Oh, we've got time. Blue Sapphire, Huge Emerald, Black Vitriol. Huge Emeralds that used to be worth a I lot of money. We got closer. Broomeran. Okay. I don't know who Broomeran is. Uh, I thought he was a, a quest target or something, but um, hey, he's here, so let's let's take him down. He's he's no, he's he's just a big softy, really. He he just wanted wanted to ha have a little bit of fun with us. That was all. Bye bye, Broomeran. A brilliant scale off of that one. Um, why is it wherever we go, we leave a trail of broken bodies behind us? We're supposed to be bringing the light and, you know, being being this noble paladin, but... Yeah, this this trail of bodies everywhere is, uh... I don't know. I don't know if it's a worrying trend, to be honest. You know, it's, it's, it's the sort of thing that uh, people talk to therapists about, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Anyway. Uh, 
that one, and oh, we don't have any more. Okay, well, I'll take this one now. I thought, I'd, like I said, I, I thought I did really well with the last Altered Beast. This is why I'm seriously considering changing from playing as a Protection Paladin. Although, I've, I've, I'm doing it now. I'm playing as a Protection Paladin. If, if I change, you know, then I won't have leveled all the way up as a Protection Paladin, and I will feel like I have failed. Both myself and everybody else. Mostly just myself. Because I said I want to do a protection paladin. And then I won't have leveled as a protection paladin. And this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. If I, if I, if I say I want to be a protection paladin all the way up, then I need to be. Ooh, we got a giant chimp. Well, technically it's a, a, a gorilla of some kind. Not quite a chimp, but you, you get the idea. Let's give him a smacking. Put that one down there. There we go. Still nothing. No more brains. I need two more brains. More brains. You can never have enough brains. Going all the way over here. We seem to have a distinct lack of these modified little critters around here at the moment. I've got a big area that I can apparently search. Oh, there's one. I found an altered beast as well as a small thorium vein. There's another altered beast just over there. I'll get the small thorium vein. Then I will gather up some more of these. We've got, we've got an altered beast down there. It's too far away. Like that, and then I will come up here like this, and I will go for that one over there as well. So I've got more creatures that are better off in tropical zones. If 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 I had the if I could meet these in the tropical zones, that that would be much better. Um. Those raptors, you can actually find quite a lot of those in the jungle, in, in Stranglethorn jungle. I really do love Stranglethorn, although we haven't been to Stranglethorn at all. We've not done any quests down there. We, we're we not going to be able to either. We, we, what we'll do is... Ooh. Ooh, that was convenient. I got the last two. Um, what we'll do is we will do Stranglethorn on our next character. Although I, I, I'm not really sure what character it's going to be yet. We still We still haven't made our minds up. Right, Queen of the Dragons. What brings you here? I have the brains. Masthoral belongs to the Blue Dragon Flight. This is not right. Let's see what I can do with these. What a shame. Whatever Umbrands has done, he has prevented me from undoing his magic. He is wiser than I had anticipated. I do have a backup plan, however. I have seen Owlbees enter and leave Masthoral even after Umbrans took control. Their ancient druidic magic must be capable of disabling Umbranses. Luckily, I happen to be somewhat of an expert in their methods. Travel south to Dunmandar. You will find a chest with a dreamcatcher in it. That will be your first step. Good luck, friend. Dunmandar. Okay. Where is that? Travel south to Dunmanda. That's all the way down there. The Owl Beast Defense. We'll follow the roads for this. It'll be safer if we stick to the roads. Ooh. More ore. <gasps> Big ore. Shiny ore. I can't get to it. It's taunting me. It's teasing me. There it is. Huge, great big, rich thorium vein. Oh, look at it. We got another. Uh Ooh. <gasps> Arcane crystal for the longest time were seriously valuable. So, some of the most valuable things, even in like the two or three expansions, arcane crystals were still really valuable. People still wanted them because you needed them as some of the ingredients in order to be able to craft a legendary that, uh, or to get a legendary. And it was very few ways to actually get a legendary, and this was one of them. So arcane crystals maintained value. I don't know if they do any more though. Huge emeralds also maintained value. I'm not sure about blue sapphires. I'm going to check these and see the value. But yeah, you could only get these things. Arcane crystals, you could actually use a, uh, a, a what do you call for it? You, you, you know what a what do you call is? A, um, an alchemist. And you could do some alchemy in order to be able to transmute. That was it. Trans Transmutations. Oh, this is pets. Right. Uh, level 19 pet. Oh, we're not going to worry about those now. We, we'll leave them for now. They're frosty ones, by the way. Just in case you hadn't realized. Um. But yeah, you could, if you wanted to, you could go and you could use the, um, yeah, the, the, the what do you call it, the, the, the thingy ma who's it, the, um, the enchanter, not the enchanter, the alchemist, and you could, um, transmute to make some arcane things, arcane crystals, and so 
they were still they were still worth a bit. The huge emeralds they were also worth quite a bit, and I did used to make quite a bit of money doing with selling those. Although then the value dropped. Whatever it was that people wanted the huge emeralds for just kind of dried up or disappeared or got changed or patched or whatever it was. But uh, then nobody wanted them anymore, and that was the end of the huge emeralds. We got another one of these here, but I'm still going to take the rich thorium veins because finding these large gems always it, it's always cool. It's it's, it's very it's a very satisfying experience finding those. It, and because they are kind of rare. Um, Jadrak the Slice Beast. Blood and thunder. What happened to me, you ask? Listen, paladin, and listen well, for my tale is one of tragedy. I was sent here to Owl Wing Thicket to find some relics. I only made it this far before I was overwhelmed by a flurry of wings and talons. How they roared and pecked, paladin. I now lay here a broken orc, with nothing but vengeance on my mind. Please, Paladin, if you have any sense of honor, you will go into Owl Wing Thicket and help me regain mine. Strength. Strength and honor, my friend. Although you are one of the enemy. Um, let's, let's not forget that you are actually one of the enemy. Crazed Owl Beast! Moon Touched Owl Beast! Moon touched owl beast. Another one. Leroy Jenkins. I'm going to do this every episode now. You, you, if you don't like this, you need to go and speak to Gooseman X. It was his idea. He's the one that started this. He, he dared me to do it. He dared me, I tell you. This is my fault. Let's put another one of those down. You know, I'm thinking that these moon touched owl. Uh, they're crazed owl beasts. They're, 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 they may actually be as crazy as their name suggests, because uh, I'm, I'm starting to take some damage here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pop my cooldown there. That's the, the, the extra dodge. That's, that's going to help. And then I'm going to throw that one down, and I'm going to do a flash of light while they're thinking about what they've done wrong. And then I'm going to do that. I should probably eat and stuff as well, which I think is good. Um, there. Get some, get some more down, and you, and then that one. Okay, we're, we're, we're back. We're back on. We're back on track. We're back on track. We've done it. We managed to do it. We're okay. So we will just quickly loot this lot. Got some giant eggs there. I'm pretty sure we use those for cooking. I can't remember what cooking. Do I use them at the moment? Oh no, that's raptor eggs. Sure, I had seen a recipe somewhere for giant eggs. We're going to drink the Dark Moon Firewater, and we're going to eat the Seasoned Wolf Kebab as well. Uh, Sia wants to find... This is Gooseman X. He needs to find a Blingtron 4000 and hope that he can get the little bling. Yeah, it is a very low drop rate. And we went back up to full health because I hit level 57. I didn't even realize I'd done that. All right, deal. Right, uh, but yeah, it is a very low drop rate. Next up, we want to just... Pop the Dark Moon Firewater. That's the last of the Dark Moon Firewater. So we're going to want to go in here and grab our Winterfall Firewater and drop that in there. And then we want to go... Right, well, don't quote me on that, see ya. I, 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 yeah, I, I may have given some disinformation there. I hope I haven't. I'll just quickly do this fight and then I will talk to you again. I will say that, uh, you know, I, I, I may be wrong. It has happened in the past. I have been known to be wrong from time to time. Obviously, it doesn't happen very often. Um, I am as close to perfect as you're ever going to find. Okay, maybe not, but still. Um, I, I can dream, can't I? I'm just waiting for the bit on the ground to clear, the consecration. So that, I can then do that and instantly do that. And I'm also going to do that. I'm going to pop that one. There we go. A little bit of extra healing just to keep us going. We've got one down. And then we've only got two left. We can take these out. Uh, there, and that one. I'm going to have to ask Sen about this. Because she knows. She's got the... She's got the... Well, I think it is. Uh, Albie's Dreamcatcher. Where's that one? Said so. Yeah, it's at the top of the village. Okay, we want to we wanna go up to the top of the village. We don't want to go into that cave right now. We will go up this way. I'll have to ask Sen a bit later. Um, and we will, we will ask Sen which one it is, whether it's the Blingtron 4000 only, or if it's all of them. I got I, I do think it's, I think it's all of them. I'm, I'm, out I'm of sure range. it is. 
And then there's one there as well. Let's let's go for five. Let's go for five. We can we can do five. Um do that. There we go. Right. And then I'm gonna do that early on. And do that. And do that and that. And then I'm gonna use that one as well. Here we go. Now we're talking. So there's one down. I've got uh, there's one one dead. I've gone... Okay, I am taking... I'm, I'm dodging a lot of attacks, which is why I'm getting that one come up a lot, it is, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's, it's getting the shield come up. It activates the shield. This is why I like playing as a tank, because it's so cool. You get so many... Uh, you get so many creatures come up all in one go. I mean, look. I'm down to 36% health, right? That's, that's not too bad, considering I just took five of them on at once. And these things are fairly insane. They, they, do, they do seem to have some fairly serious anger management issues. So where's this Dreamcatcher thing? Oh, okay. Um, oh, beasts. I've gone completely the wrong place. The Dreamcatcher's all the way down here. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's Razor Beak there. Um, the, the, the Dreamcatcher's up. Oh, it's this way. Where is the Dream... That's all the way over there. I'm on the wrong side. Ha, ha, ha. My bad. Okay, let's let's go this way then, and we'll run back down here. Um, we're going to ignore the rest of them. We're going to go on past. We're going. To, we, we have restored the honor to the fallen orc down here, even though he's technically one of the enemy. You know, we, we're um, we're a noble paladin, and we are able to do the odd noble deed. You, so crazy pants, are going to pay the ultimate price for chasing me down the hill. I didn't appreciate that. So, here, ha have some of this. You know, we really should use our Hammer of Justice every now and then. Stun these creatures into submission. Yeah, if, if, if one of them has just stood around not doing a lot, it's going to help. It's definitely going to help. Okay. Jadrag the Slicer. My honor is restored. Partially. My tale continues, Paladin, for I have left portions of my honor elsewhere in this forest. It has not been a very easy journey for me. Please try and be sensitive to an orc's condition. I'm having a rough couple of days, and I'd prefer it if you kept your comments to yourself. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. I love this game. I really do. My, <laughs> My mysterious benefactors gave me more than one task. The second task took me further south to the Frost Whisper Gorge. I was surprised to learn that the gorge's bridge had been broken in two, preventing land travel from one side to the other. In addition, the juvenile frost mall tumblers were separated from their stronger adult parents. I thought that I could defeat them in battle. I was incorrect, and I was forced to run away in shame. Teach those tumblers a lesson, Grundorm. Fight them and win. The frost mall giants wouldn't have been a problem if it weren't for that damned Frostilicus. When the ground broke and shook and the bridge broke, he and his fellow water elementals seeped out of the earth and took over the bottom of the Frost Whisper Gorge, forcing the giants out. Damn you, Frostilicus! You would do me a great honor if you had sent him back into the ground, Paladin. You will find him to the south at the bottom of the gorge. Go forth to victory! For strength and honor. Right. We have another little quest to go and do for him. And we've also got the Albie's defense over there. However, I'm running out of time for today's episode. It's a little unfortunate. I realize that this episode is actually going to be edited down to be a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I do apologize for that. I've, I've been doing other... Yeah, uh, I've, I've been allowing myself to be distracted, which I shouldn't really. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least get that one. We'll, we'll at least go and get this one over here. And... Oh. Well, I said that I was going to do that. You know what? I think we I think we got time for one final Leroy Jenkins. We've always got time for one final Leroy Jenkins. We go over here. We grab that one. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> oh, that, now I'm going to regret this. I am seriously going to regret i got like ten of them here now. <laughs> I really shouldn't have done this. I definitely shouldn't have done this. I, I, I've made a mistake. I, I've, I've bitten off more than I can chew. Uh, I'm going to stun one of them. And then I'm... I'm ooh, ooh, no, no, no. I've, I've, I've done it too much. I've done too much. 
Too much, too much, too much to handle. Right, I need, I need to turn around a bit. There we go. Right, and, and then uh, get you. I've, I've got another. I'm facing the wrong way. I've got that one there. He is right in front of me. I'll take him down. i got two of them, actually. There, I just took two down. Two at once. Now we're doing it. I've got that one. I still haven't had to use the bubble. I will be using the bubble in just a moment. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. I'm not going to use the bubble. I don't actually need to. I'm going to heal up again. There we go. I am full health, and then we go again. And then I smack them down with that shield. Keep going. More with the shield, more with the shields. Look at this. I'm doing it. I've got I've like six of them. There's three of them dead already. This is awesome. Yes, I have taken three. <laughs> I've done it. Six of them. Six in one go. I genuinely did not think I was going to do that. Honestly, I did not think I was going to take all six down. I did not think that was possible. That was awesome. That was absolutely brilliant. Okay, we'll take this. Dreamcatcher. Ooh, complete quest. The Albi's magic will be the key to our retaking of Mazthril. Good. It is just as Jaron described it. The Albi's sacred caves are located to the east. Within several of these caves, you should find totems. I want you to approach these totems and gather whatever essence you can from them. The Dreamcatcher should absorb this essence for use within Mazthril. Pretty sure I've just been up there. Yeah. I, 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 I've just been up there. Literally. You couldn't have told me this 10 minutes ago. Well. Right. Well, we're going to half back now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And again, I am sorry that it's a little bit shorter than I actually anticipated. I spent a bit longer talking to people than I should have done. Um, hopefully on Friday, actually, this is after Friday. What what day are we? Uh, let me just consult my list. Uh, no, today is Friday. We are actually recording Friday's episode right now. So, to, to, for, for you, today is Friday. So, in theory, in a couple of hours' time, you should be able to experience a live stream. My first ever live stream, which I'm doing in this game. This will be my first one ever, and then hopefully tomorrow there'll be another one, if this one goes alright. But uh, this is going to be setting up, I'll be like testing, making sure that microphone levels are right and things like that. So we may be, um, you know, jumping in and out an awful lot and things like that. But, you know, come along, have a laugh, tell me where I'm going wrong, that sort of thing. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.